the diagram shows the chain linking of the front and the back cranks of the uh, of the bicycle so you see this is the chain this is the small one and this one is the large one it is given that the circumference of the front and the back cranks are 50.8 and 30.5 so circumference what is circumference circumference is the diameter so we know at the back the diameter is 2 pi r so we know at the back 2 pi r is equal to this is small one is equal to 30.5 and then 2 pi r of the big one or the large one is equal to 50.8 calculate the length of the bicycle chain in centimeter so you see here we know that the circumference is the diameter so you can find the radius of the small one and the radius of the large one so here the radius of the small one is equal to 30.5 divided by 2 pi 2 pi 30.5 divided by 2 times 3.142 which is equal to 4.854 cm so the radius of the big one is equal to 50.8 divided by 2 pi so you see here you bring 2 pi so which is equal to 50.8 divided by 2 times 3.142 so we get 8.084 cm so we see here the length of the bicycle chain in cm so we see here the length of the bicycle chain including the arc of the small one so we see here this one is the arc of the small one plus so you see here this one is 25 and this one is 25 so plus 2 times 25 plus so we see here the r of the large one so the r of the big one large one because i do the b here so i just do the b here so this is how you calculate the length of the chain so you have to calculate what is the r and we know that r s is equal to r theta where theta is in radian so i just write up here rs is equal to 4.854 cm and r the big one is equal to 8.084 cm so here uh, the theta needs to be in radian you see here this one is 160 and this one is 185 so we must change to radian so we know that degree so degree to radian so we see here radian is smaller than degree so divide by 180 so pi over 180 and from radian to degree it will be the other way around which is time 180 over pi so you just have to remember that radian is smaller so radian to degree smaller to a larger unit multiply 180 so larger to smaller you divide with 180 or you can use another um, any other way that we that will be easier for you to remember lah. So here we have 160 degree. So 160 degree times so degree to radian times pi over 180 or 3.142 divided by 180 you will get and and another angle is 185 degree times 3.142 divided by 180. So the first angle is equal to okay. So this one is equal to 2.793 radian, and this one is equal to 3.229 radian. So now you can calculate the length because you already have the radius. Because you already have the radius and you have the radian. So for the small one, S is equal to R small, theta small, plus, this one is 50, plus, so R big and theta, the big one. So the radius of the small one, we calculate before, above here, 4.854. So, so the radian of the small one is 160 degree, which is 2.793 plus 50 so plus this one the radius of the big one is here the radius is 8.084 8.084 
and the radian of the large one, 185 degree, you get 3.229. So here, you calculate everything using calculator. So we get 89.66 centimeter.